Welcome to the Whiskey Vault Monday. Tomorrow begins dry week. You have really hard elbows. Did I just break your finger? I'm a rock. It's just all steel. <laughs> it's just all steel. You're Don't so, hurt yourself. You're so hard. Don't hurt yourself. Daniel's so hard. Um, you, uh, so tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is the dry week. Tomorrow's uh, dry January week. January first. January first starts yes. dry week because yeah. you know we all need a little bit of a cooling off period after New Year's Eve. I so if from for a lot of people here maybe. For Are me, you? I have been so old for so long that I haven't seen the actual New Year's. Like the ball drop and the for I don't know probably about seven or eight years now. Are you coming to my house for my parents' house for New Year's Eve? I don't know. It's gumbo. It's the Whittington family tradition. Okay. It's like we're not even friends. You just now found this up. <laughs> if we were really friends, you know what would be shared with me? <laughs> the secret vault? The location of your secret <laughs> stash. Where is the secret stash? Here's what I will tell you. I have poured you whiskey from my secret stash. But I, did I see you pull it out of the no. stash? What the hell? I've shared the secret stash. I've just not shared the location of the secret stash. And it's on this property. I've even shared the secret stash while giving you Cuban cigars. And it's on so the, and it's on you, the, and Yes, it's on this property. Clue you, number one is on the property. You cannot you cannot claim that I'm I am being selfish or hoarding. You're hoarding. I'm being protective. You're being hoard you're hoarding and you're being selfish. <laughs> and you know what you know what this Captain, is? Captain This is a hobbit turning into a golem. Ah oh, my, my precious! precious. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's a great reference. All right, Captain Ron. And I think it's Captain Ron Welch, but I'm not going to go on record. Captain, Captain Ron, you visit. Bastard. <laughs> Captain Ron sent a Shibus Regal, but it's a special edition. And man, have I got stories and cool shit okay. about why this is a special edition. Okay. So this is Mizunara wood. Hold on, we'll get there. Let's give some notes real quick. Okay, on only notes. nose first. This is 40%. Yeah. I always get the proof range really, really close. It smells like it's going to be much more uh, rich yeah, than a 40% whiskey. I agree. Than a 40 whiskey. I totally agree. I would have guessed 46 plus. Yeah. A minimum 46 plus. Wow, interesting. Okay. Getting uh, strawberries. Yeah, but there's a... It's like a red grapes? Yeah, I was going to say, there's a fruit note in there, but I don't know if it's grape. There's a fruity... Sweetness as opposed to a pure sugar vanilla it's, it's caramel. It's not sweetness. pear. It's not apple. We need to find more fruits to reference <laughs> We really do let's, go, let's get let's get one of those grids from high school. What are the, of, fruits? the fruit categories? <laughs> right. Siri, what are the fruits? <laughs> <laughs> it starts with tomato <laughs> No <laughs> That's the lying fruit <laughs> It looks like it'd be sweet and delicious and no, it's not you gotta have salt so this is way, okay, so let's pull the normal Chivas, which is, it's like a, so yeah. this is throwing me. I'm getting a, a slightly briny, honeyed caramel, some grape, and there's a tiniest bit of, like the high end, the top end of the strawberry. Here, so here's the thing. After watching a lot of our videos, I do this thing where I don't look at you. I know that I do this, but for me to focus on a whiskey, I'm not looking here, I'm looking over here, and it's really, it's just, it's off-putting. Speaking, we were talking about editing right before we started shooting. Yeah. Not, make, not, not making eye contact with the viewer. Ironically, kind of I'm much better at looking you at are, the camera. You are fantastic. And you're the professional. I'm the prof well, I'm the, the behind-the-scenes professional. <laughs> oh, oh, smell the difference. This is the, the Chivas 12. Absolutely not. Oh. I think I like the 12 better. I think I liked it on Just the from the nose. We on haven't the tried it on yet. The nose. Right. Oh. Is that dissolve? This is vanilla. The 12 is more like a scotch. Yeah. It's vanilla, slightly smoky, a little hint of black pepper. Also 40%. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Wow. Oh, man. That's... So, which one did you try? I tried the... The Mizunara. Okay, this was effortless. This was really good. Hold Normally on, on, in a hold blend. On, hold on, hold on. Okay. This was... It flew past me. It was so quick. It was... Uh, it was so quick that I felt like, man, there's some good notes. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's like, like oh, trying to read the writing on a race car right. at a Formula One track. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, wait. 
Now, okay, so the, you know why? The difference is you took a sip and I spread it around. Spread it around. So there's some oiliness there. Mm -hmm. It stays with you if you spread it around. Yes, it lingers Yeah. if you give it a second. Yeah. Now, it still is fast. Even with trying to cling, uh, heavily oily whiskeys will linger for a while. This one, even with moving it around, doesn't does, linger. Does this have any peat whatsoever? I don't think so, but I have absolutely no because confirmation of there is that. this... I'm not tasting it. There is this twinge of something. Thing. See, I'm thinking I mean, that's the Mizanara oak. So, oh, oh, that was about to ask. Because could it, 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 the twinge almost presents as a bitter, could that be the oak? What, yes. is, the, what is Mizanara oak? Are you ready for story time? So, this is, uh, thanks, my favorite write-up on Mizanara oak, hmm. uh, and on the interwebs, currently, yeah. is George Kautsakis. Okay. Who's a Greek Scotsman. Oh, okay. Okay. So, he told a whole story of why Mizunara oak became a thing in Japan. Now, remember Japan, Japanese whiskey. Yeah. Uh, they take what other countries do and turn it into art forms. Yeah. And the origins, the two guys and who are the founders of Japanese whiskey. Yeah. Uh, Takatsuru mm -hmm. and uh, Shinjiro Tori mm -hmm. were sort of mimicking Scottish styles of whiskey. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, what happened is World War II... Yeah. World War II, guess what you, where you can't get barrels from all of a sudden? Japan. Well, no, no. Guess where Japan can't get barrels from? Oh, us. Scotland and America. Yeah. Because they're at war with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And so all of a sudden, you have this situation where they've been making whiskey Scottish style, yeah. bringing in barrels from America and from yeah. Scotland, and all of a sudden, all the places that they get their barrels from... Yeah. They're at war with and trying to kill. I got, so, a, I got a salted cranberry. Go ahead. Oh man, I've never. I'm, I'm not a cranberry fan, so I, that reference is lost I got on a me. Salted cranberry. Go I ahead. feel like I should know that because it's Christmas and salted, cranberry. A salted cranberry. I oh, mean, do you like cranberry sauce like in the Thanksgiving? What am I? What am I? I hate it. Am I a psychopath? Yeah, I can't do it. I must be a psychopath. <laughs> Who doesn't love cranberry sauce? Um, My brother-in-law told me I had psychopathic tendencies yesterday. No sociopathic tendencies. Oh, I'm more okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Japan has an oak tree, right? Because there's a lots of strains of the sure. oak tree. Yeah, yeah. Their oak tree is called Mizunara oak. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now the problem with it is it's 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 like our scrub oak, where it grows in these weird. Yeah. It's not a perfectly straight. And in order to get the depth and and the uh, width of the tree that you need to cut for barrels, right. it's got to be at least 200 years old. 200 years old. And then they are harvesting those 200-year-old trees yeah. and turning them into whiskey barrels. What? Yeah. That's insane. That's like going to downtown and cutting down tree Wait, oak. Like, if there is a 200... Yes. If there is a 200-year-old <laughs> tree... In Central Texas, oh. there would be a plaque. Oh yeah, there would be park it's benches protected. around it. No, there already are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so every you know you've heard the saying everything's better in Texas. Yeah. Except the trees. Except the trees, <laughs> evidently, because right. Japan's willing to cut down their two hundred year old trees. Well, and turn them into barrels. But if you traveled anywhere else in the United United States, uh, you realize we don't really have trees. We just have kind of tall bushes. No, no, no. In, in Texas, in, not the United in States. In Central Texas. Yes. In Central in Texas. In Central Texas, if I you agree. travel anywhere else in the United States, you realize, oh, that's what a tree looks like. Yeah. You see a redwood tree. Right. And as Mark Twain said, you see a tree that it's like you've never, or no, actually, it's Frederick Buechner. You've never seen a tree in your life until you've seen a tree. And then you see the tree that is what all other trees are sort of attempting to become <laughs> is the redwood tree. Right. You've never seen a tree in your life until now. Right. That is the personification of all trees, hopes, and dreams. Yeah, that's right. Those <laughs> redwood forests of <laughs> thousand-year-old trees. So anyway, so they took this Mizunara wood. Yeah. They made barrels, yeah. and they aged it. Now, at the time in history, mm -hmm. whiskey was being aged years, not decades. Okay. And what they found was that wood impact was way too strong. It was all wrong. Mm. It just it ruined everything. Yeah. And so a lot of these guys, like the Yamazaki Suntory story right. and uh, the Nika, and right, right, they just took those barrels and they went nah, and they shoved them into corners. This ruined everything. Right. And so, then years, decades later, 
20, as a matter of fact, the first uh, historical note, not historical, but the like journal entry, mm -hmm. was of one of the guys discovering a Mizunara cask after it was 20 years old, mm -hmm. and it was sitting in the corner gathering dust. Yeah. And they then opened it and tasted the whiskey and went, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's not that Mizunara is bad. Right. It's that it takes 20 years to f finish. Really? <laughs> right. Okay. And so now, because yeah. of that, yeah. Mizunara aged whiskey yeah. is highly prized, so, unbelievably expensive. Here's the thing. The entire time, I'm, I'm thinking, damn, I wish this was higher than 40%. Yeah, me too. Because if you swish it around your mouth, then you can get all of these flavors, and the fact that it's throwing me so much, it's like, okay, wow, it's as if I haven't had hundreds and hundreds of whiskeys before, but it's this weirdly, really weird, unique, exotic oak. I think that's what's throwing me. Yeah. Because I'm getting flavors and layers and elements that are familiar, but at the same time aren't quite what I'm used to. Here's what's cool for me. Yeah. It's very, very possible. This is power of suggestion and it's psychosomatic. Okay. But there's a sweet whiskey ending in bitterness yeah. characteristic to Japanese whiskey yeah. that I love. And this yeah. is following that path. Even at 40 freaking percent. It's following that what path. What would you give for a sweet ending in bitterness? What would you give for a cask strength version of this? Oh man. Right? I would pay hundreds of dollars. I would that. pay your hundreds of dollars too. <laughs> it would be my secret vault. <laughs> Damn it. So how does it compare to the... No, here's what we need to do. I think we're comparing this to Chivas, and it's fine, but what we need to compare this to is Japanese whiskey. I would agree. Of course you would. You have this to... is more for me than it is for you, but oh, you can be oh, along for the journey. Oh, God, oh you have... got comments. Read comments have... while I pick a Japanese have... whiskey. Comments. Good on you. Uh, Klezzy Krunk. It always bugs me, bugs me out. It always bugs me out that it looks like you guys are in front of a green screen the whole time until yeah. Daniel goes and literally pulls a bottle off the show. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it look like we're in front of a green because screen? Because the lighting is a little bit like we're in one lighting, but the bottles are in okay. another lighting. So, so um, right now I have just a huge bank of windows along this side. This is going to be daylight. Um, so it's Kelvin, color temperature, it's the color of daylight. Uh, this is tungsten. This is uh, gonna be much more orangish yellow light, so I get why it feels like there's some separation I'm video, I'm video nerding on you right now. Yeah, no, it's not a green screen Never done a green screen on this. That was the most video nerd you've ever gotten on this on channel this show. Rob Robert Asprey. Hey Daniel, I need your help identifying a bottle of whiskey I received. I cannot find anything out about it online. How can I send you a photo of the bottle and its box? So via Facebook whiskey. No, no, no. Group? I posted that for a reason. Right. And that reason was, we have not called on Reddit for a while. Ooh. And this is the kind of thing that I think Reddit is made for. Yeah. The kind of people who will say, post a picture of that rare bottle, yeah. and we will figure out what it is, where it came from. Yeah. So Reddit. So where's the bottle? Challenge. This guy's gonna put He's, the bottle. You in. gotta watch this episode, hopefully. Right, right. Post it to Reddit. Right. Which I gave him the link in his reply to his right. comment. So post this... it to Reddit. Reddit guys, take charge. So Robert Asprey, post that to Reddit. See what they come up with. Matthew Ochner, a new tribe member here, longtime bourbon fan here. I personally love the approachability of it. My question is, as I gain interest in widening my palate, what if an expanded what, if any, expanded flavor profiles do American whiskeys have over bourbons because of their ability to be used in oak and used oak to mm -hmm. start off the aging process? A lot. Yeah. A, a lot of options. A, a lot, a lot. Secondly, what's one way of finishing bourbon that you really think creates the most interesting flavor? So, I, I'll get an answer to this. So Try this. Yeah. This is Hibiki 12. Oh. But look at the... Oh, you need more whiskey. Yes, I do. I love 20, almost 2019 Daniel. He's the best Daniel. <laughs> friends are friends It's gonna be forever. a good year, Tribe. It's gonna be a good year. <laughs> okay. So man, here, this is really frustrating for me. This, this Mizunara, Mizunara whiskey. Yeah. It is frustrating because it's a, gl it's a glimmer of magnificence. Dude, and and it's a glimmer. It's, it is. It hints at like ah, 
Ah, it's like watching a trailer for a really amazing movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching the new trailer for Mary Poppins. If only it was the new Mary Poppins. Which, I, as soon as I saw that Dick Van Dyke was involved, I was like, did you watch this? That's yes. really, that's a Daniel kind of movie. It really is. It is. I love Mary Daniel Poppins. doesn't do, like, heavy, aggressive, violent, he, he's, no. a, he's a thousand miles away from No, Dick. if it's serious, from and Game people of are crying at the end, no. He will not, well, and even, like, like brutal violence and stuff. Yeah, no, I'm out on that, He's, he's not doing Although Deadpool is an exception, because it's funny. Because it's funny. Yeah. But you know so, why? Brutal violence with a dose of teabagging. And he, he's all in. I'm all in. <laughs> you know why, though? Because my real life is so f***ing brutal. It's so I don't need to watch fiction. Oh, my God. That replicates it. Oh, my God. Like, I don't need... I struggle with real life. I don't need my fiction to be something I also struggle with. Every day, Daniel wakes up, <laughs> and he lives about nine miles away from the academy. Yep. He doesn't own a car. <laughs> he does own katanas. <laughs> so every morning he wakes up and it's just a battle every step of the way. Dueling, dueling with henchmen. <laughs> the henchmen. And I like the Julius henchmen. <laughs> and my form is always this one. Right. And then. Uh, uh, huh. <laughs> it's, uh, what it's, is that? It's, uh, it's amazing he hasn't been killed yet. Yeah, it's true. They're really, yeah. they're the budget henchmen, <laughs> really. The budget henchmen. I, so I think uh, this is the best Chivas I've ever tried. Shut your fit. No. No, I'm not giving it that. I like it better than 12. No, I'm not giving it that. Really? I'm giving it, it has the potential to be the best Chivas. It's the best. It's just, one. it flies by you too quickly. It's too, no, it's too watered. But compared to the twelve, I'm so, I'm, is this a twelve? No, 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 no. Wait, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> pour me the twelve. You, how are you so wrong? I don't know, Daniel. Pour Look, me some whiskey. The twelve is tasty, out. but it's it's got the same fleeting sense. So I think with Shivis, with all Shivis, you deal with that fleeting sense of majesty. It's just poof and gone. Yeah, but as, for poof and gone, this one is is a superior poof and gone. <laughs> <laughs> we well, should have the top ten poop and gone whiskeys. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a Harry Potter episode. Poop and guns. Yeah, that's our next discovery coming. Yeah. All right. So remember tomorrow. Oh, it's the the dry week dry quarterly week. challenge. Quarterly challenge. And if you didn't watch the donation day, basically this is just a, a check in, quality control for your life to make sure that. Whiskey isn't becoming a problem, and maybe it's not becoming a problem. But it's just a little break, just to make sure, just to confirm. So whenever your friends say, oh, are you an alcoholic now? It's like, dude, I take dude. breaks all the time. It's not an issue. Yeah. This is the official time we do that. If you discover that there's some kind of issue, yeah. uh, email us. There are resources uh, in your town. Absolutely. No problem. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, Drop a question or comment down below.